Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Akin Lalis. If you're new, thank you very much for stopping by. Please do not forget to subscribe. Let's get right into today's video. So now in today's video, I am going to basically be discussing about a character in a movie in the movie called About 12. About 12. If you've not watched the movie, the Mount Zion production, the Mount Zion movie production, please go and watch it. That movie is amazing. It's power packed. It's actually very, very power packed. And if you watch it, you will see that each scene speaks to you. Just let every. It's more than an entertainment. It's actually a, a charge. I believe it's a charge to us right now in this generation. So, to today's topic, um, I'm going to be discussing about a character in that movie, and that's the character of Babad Benro. Baba Denro. If you've not watched the movie, please go watch it. The class scene in episode 5 actually spoke volumes to me. And then that was when Chief Durasonia was actually calling Martins. They were trying to summon Martins spiritually and then he was to call Martins' name three times. And then once he called Martins' name three times, the third time rather, immediately we see that um, Baba Denro woke up and then he started playing the blood of Jesus, calling fire, interceding on behalf of Martins immediately. Even we can see when Martins himself woke up, he immediately called Babel Bering that saw there is war, please start praying. And then before then, we had already seen the scene where Babel Bering was actually praying for Martins. Immediately he woke up, like he woke up with charge, like he woke up and started praying immediately. That even his wife joined him at the beginning in the bedroom before he moved to the sitting room when he received, before he actually received Martins' call. Please watch the movie. So if you watch the movie, you will understand. If you watch the movie, I think you you understand the scenes I'm talking about. Now, when I saw that thing, I I asked myself, how many of us see people who can actually intercede for us? See, God showed Baba Benro the vision or a revelation of what was happening at that point in time, and it was so much in tune. A lot of us, how many of us can have a revelation or vision of our friends? And actually immediately stand up and actually intercede for them and um, it was that spoke volume about that scene actually spoke volume about having the right people intercede for you in the right moment if Baba Dera just woken up then and said ah, blood of Jesus blood of Jesus in the morning when I wake up I'm going to I have to pray about Martins if he had not taken a stand at that point in time nothing would have happened do you understand even not for the fire I called, there will not have been an the effect at that point in time. There are some there are some situations basically that need immediate response. I and I asked myself, how am I a Bab I'm going to be using the word Baba Benro a lot too. Am I a Baba Benro in the life of somebody? Meaning am I can I have I been able to intercede for people when I get when you get things, have you been able to intercede for people? I think it's something I'm asking myself. It's something I believe every Christian should ask themselves. Can God show you a vision or a, uh, a vision or about somebody and, you know, you stand up and immediately and take action about that vision? You stand up immediately and speak, not, oh, just lay down your head and, oh, I cover them with the blood of Jesus. More than that, like, stand up and actually take action on those visions that God was showing you about a specific a particular person or somebody you know how many of us can so much take a case of somebody to act while interceding for them second part was that was in episode six you know after he, he was trying to talk to martins and martins was not still re responding and then he came to martin's house and even saved him from that lady's trap the first time and martins sent the man out and then he at the end, you know when the man was opening the door and he was like, I hate you. And the man still told him, I love you. And humanly speaking, you know, imagine somebody sending me out of his house. Yes, I know what I didn't do was wrong. We understand the situation I ground. Humanly speaking, any human will actually want to react. You saw the way the wife did when he spoke and said, Ah, Martin's chased me out of his and we're like, I don't have a son. My only son is very real. Because actually, that is what a normal person would because I have tried I was be like I had tried my best so I went to his house tried to talk out the issue with him but then he wasn't ready to eat but still irrespective of what Martin still did or said the man's love or the man the fact that the man took him as his son did not change 
how many of us can act in that capacity with people around us why while i'm actually placing more emphasis on that because not that people do not intercede for each other but then mm. most people inter if people who intercede you know when i'm praying okay I intercede on behalf of someone not when you see a vision of oh god shows you a vision or a revelation about somebody like how many of us can stand up in the middle of the night shake up that sleep immediately and you know start speaking what start counteracting whatever vision whatever negative thing or negative stuff you saw concerning that person how many of us can actually stand up and do that i asked my i was the next day when i was going to work i asked myself can i do that for somebody is there somebody i know is there somebody in my life like that can do that that i am you know martins was very sure that baba bay rose could actually pray for him because if not why would he he had to call him that ah baba bay stop praying stop praying there is war how many of us, when we are caught up in a situation where we are caught up in things, how many of us can call people around us and tell them, start praying for me, there is fire on the mountain. And then it's not just about having it, it's about also being able to provide, being able to actually reciprocate that to somebody. That have people who intercede for you any day, any time, no matter whatever you do, they see beyond the physical. People who actually see beyond the physical that, even when you're not on good terms with them, they know that this is happening because of something that is going on in our life. Not people that say, ah, the bear called her last week, she did not pick. People who, irrespective of what is happening in the physical, they can actually still stand in gap for you spiritually. Even if when they're not on talking terms with you, that can continually speak positive words into our lives. The part where I also liked in that movie was in episode 6, where Baba Bear wrote daily and his father that scene ha that scene is something else i'm still going to discuss about that scene i'm like that is a, that is the old video in fact that scene is a old video that scene is power packed the boy daily was spitting out fire <laughs> but anyway you know something this movie actually also led me you know when i saw the fact how baba Bero interceded for martins and then I don't know i was curious i searched the bible about people who in spite of everything that was done to them who actually still prayed for people who actually still interceded on the behalf of people thought, um jesus christ was the very perfect example you know where we were when he was being crucified and he still said god forgive them for they do not know what they are doing even still in the book of acts chapter 7 verse 59 to 60 you know when they were stoning him and he said father no, he, he said, Lord, please do not charge them with their sin. <laughs> and, you're, and they were stoning him to death and he still said, Lord, do not charge them with their sin. But please, if you learned anything from the movie about you, if you learned any lessons, things that s spoke out to you, things that, cha, you know, things that actually popped up to you, lessons that popped up to you, more than the entertainment part, please feel free to put, that, put them down in the comment section down below. I will be willing i say i am so willing to learn i am so willing to learn all the lessons if i can learn all the lessons that are embedded in that movie i will learn it so please if there are things you you've learned from the watching the movie those of you who watch the movie please put them down in the comment section down below please let me also learn let other people also learn from you if you've not watched the movie please what are you waiting for go and search it about to about to about to about to so while we cross our fingers waiting for season two, thank you very much if you watched this far. So thank you very much for watching today's video. Till I come your way in a new video.